Welcome back to the Creation Station. It's your boy Adub, and today is all about Thor. With Thor: Love and Thunder coming out very soon, I definitely wanted to take a trip to Target and see what kind of toys they had. And I always love looking and seeing what's kind of new and maybe what it'll reveal about the movie. I'm gonna break these toys down for us real quick, kind of take a closer look, and then also give my thoughts. First off, starting with this pop, this is pop of Meek, and Meek uh, first showed up in Thor: Ragnarok. He's actually a friend of Korg. And um, he's kind of got like a, a, a business type of like a business dress suit on thing. And it looks like Meek also has legs now because before, you know, um, Korg would just carry Meek around. So um, interesting. Maybe we'll find out more about this character's origin or their home planet or something like that. But still got the signature blades for hands. On the back too, you, th you see um, the other pops we have here. Thor, Mighty Thor, Valkyrie, Gore, Korg, and Meek. So I like uh, Korg a lot. So I'm going to be looking for him. They didn't have too many options so far that I saw. I actually found this one at Hot Topic. Um, speaking of Korg, we have, I got the big action figure. And this is just like the standard action figure. Has a little bit of posability. But he is just one of my favorites, honestly. So funny, just so simple, the dialogue. Also the voice, the way he delivers his lines. And he's been a loyal friend to Thor since they met. He is heavy, which is cool, since he is made out of rock. So I mean, it makes sense that he would be heavy. Might keep him in the box for now. A few other toys that are coming out of the box definitely though we got thor and mighty thor here these action figures actually at target were already on sale half off so i went ahead and got one of each you see thor has his stormbreaker axe mighty thor has molnir and this is like the repaired molnir i'm very interested to see how jane foster becomes mighty thor how she wields molnir but i have a feeling that um, she's become worthy or something has happened in the meantime because Mjolnir usually chooses who can wield it. it must mean um, that you know it's chosen her for some reason so we'll find out why that is. Thor again has his Stormbreaker axe that he made back in um, Avengers Endgame. Yeah let's see what they look like. Each of them have a little bit of action. Thor's looking pretty good. Simple packaging it just comes with that little bag and then oh okay there we go we got some action. So we squeeze the legs and he swings his axe. Pretty cool looking. He lost his dad bod that he gained in Avengers Infinity War. That's the action right there. And let's take a look at Mighty Thor with Molnir. No extra pieces at all in there. Look at this. Okay, so right out of the bag, like her arm is like tucked behind her kind of. Looking pretty cool with the cape. She's got the more traditional helmet with the horns or like the wings. Let's let's check out her action. Oh no. Her arm is stuck. No wonder she was on sale. Look at this. Oh, 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 you can do it. Uh, it doesn't look good, I'm gonna be honest. It, it looks like her arm is just like so out of place. It only swings sometimes. Come on, Mighty Thor. She's gonna do way better than this in the movie, I know it. Okay, there we go. Operator error maybe, but I do like the fact that the Mjolnir, uh, the hammer is broken. It has all of its pieces. That looks pretty cool. The detail on here is, is all right, but man, I wish the action looked cooler. The other question though with these two, Thor and Mighty Thor is, you know, how much of the movie is gonna be about their romance, about them potentially getting back together? You know, I hope it's not like too central to the theme, but I assume it probably is. It is called Thor Love and Thunder. So y'all stand over there. Speaking of Mighty Thor, we do have her character car. The character car is pretty cool. On the top of the hood, there are the um, same designs as it was on her helmet, and the car actually looks like it's wearing a cape. A lot of good detail on this car, and it's actually only one of two that they have for this one. They have Mighty Thor, and then they have Thor. Um, the Thor car on the back of here, it looks more like a cartoony um, type of Thor. It doesn't look like it's really from the movie. So yeah, a couple more things to look at really quick. Um, we have the goat boat. And we have seen this in the trailer a little bit. It looks like they're riding out from new Asgard. I'm gonna be building this and doing a review of this on the channel as well. I think there's gonna be a lot of cool details. I like the fact that there's so many characters involved. You got two goats, you got Thor, Mighty Thor, Korg, Valkyrie, and you have Gore, who I have to say, Gore, I'm hoping is gonna be a very kind of like dark. I think he should be pretty gangster. Played by Christian Bale, you know, I know he's a good actor, so I'm looking forward to a good performance from him. We have the goat boat here. That's gonna be dope. Lastly, Thor's hammer. So this hammer is actually from the Infinity Saga before it was broken back in Ragnarok. Gonna be doing a build and review of this on the channel. That's my Thor haul. Let me know if you're interested in seeing the movie. Let me know what you think is going to happen in the movie. I don't know. I think I'll be there for the popcorn. I'll be there for the excitement. Marvel never really totally disappoints. My boy Korg is in it. 
so i know that there'll be something for me definitely gonna have more content to bring you guys soon lots to look forward to so thank you very much appreciate you stopping by the creation station and until next time a dub out